Hi, I'm Sundri and this is my YouTube channel, The Bumblebee Way. Welcome. Last Sunday, we celebrated the birthday of my little nephew, Rahul. He turned three years old and he's an adorable little munchkin. I love him to bits. So it was a time for us to celebrate all the joy and laughter that he's adding to our lives every day. Talking about my nephew, I want you to see the wall behind me closely. Mostly you can see a lot of drawings, scrolls, scratches and scribbles. Yes, these are the creative handiwork of my nephew and my niece and there are many such walls and cupboards in my house which bear a testimony to their creativity. There was a time when I used to get angry and annoyed whenever they drew something on the wall and I would ask somebody to clean it up immediately, otherwise I would be so irritated. But now I feel that the wall tells a different story. I feel that this wall is a beautiful canvas for my niece and nephew to explore their creativity. This wall tells a story of development of fine motor skills, that they have learned to hold the color in their hands and produce something. This wall tells a story of validation for their creativity that they have received from their loved ones and the encouragement to create more. This wall tells a story that they need to keep creating without the fear of judgment. So this wall holds a lot of value to me now than a blank wall. This is what the Japanese philosophy of Wabi Sabi is all about. Wabi Sabi tells us to celebrate the beauty in the imperfections. It tells us to celebrate the rust, the cracks, the dents, and all of which we call imperfections in our lives. There are two important actions here, acceptance and finding beauty in the imperfections. I accept that this wall is not clean now. It is not spick and span, and eventually we may need to clean it or even repaint it. But right now, this acceptance and acknowledgement leads me to go deeper and celebrate the wall for what it is now. That it's a sign of love, it's a sign of life and growth in the house around me. Though it's an ancient philosophy, Wabi Sabi holds immense relevance even in present day lives, dominated by the social media. If we look at Instagram, Facebook or even LinkedIn, we find that there is a non-stop clamor to present the perfect side of our lives. We see the perfectly, beautifully decorated houses. We see flawless skin, the perfect hair. We see exotic locations that we travel to. We see expensive food items that we try out. We see expensive jewelry, accessories, gadgets, cars. Now there is so much of perfection, so much of glitter and gloss that it all ends up looking alike. Where are the real people, the imperfect individuals with imperfect lives, with imperfect bodies, imperfect careers? We don't see them anymore. Wabi Zabi starts with accepting ourselves with all the imperfections, accepting ourselves as unfinished work in progress individuals. Acceptance is a very simple but very powerful concept. And it's not just accepting ourselves, it's accepting the people in our lives, understanding that they are not perfect individuals, accepting their flaws, their imperfections, their shortcomings, but still loving them for who they are. Wabi Sabi also tells us that our bodies, our homes, the things that we surround ourselves with tell a story. My body, my face, along with the dark circles, the eye bags, tell the story of my journey. This story may not be perfect, but it's an important story. It is a unique story. 
our imperfections show the world that we have lived. Today, I urge you all to move away from the idea of being perfect and being the best. Only when we accept ourselves with all the imperfections can we go deeper and celebrate the reality. That is when we find authenticity and depth. So you can write to me one story in your life where you have embraced yourself along with all the flaws and imperfections. You can leave a comment or write to me at thebumblebeeworld at gmail.com. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe and share it with someone in your life who is beautiful in their imperfections.